Hi, welcome to the Agent Login video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to log in as an agent to a cloud call center campaign, how to run that campaign while logged in, and when and how to log out. As an agent, you're going to go directly to callfire.com, our homepage, and click on the orange Agents Login link in the upper right corner. Select the new agent interface on the left portion of their screen. Click on the Click Here to Launch link. You'll be taken to the agent login screen. Click on the Start button in the lower right corner of that screen. The first item to enter is a campaign ID. The easiest thing to type here is the name your administrator gave the campaign. In this case, Call Fire space Demo. When this comes up, we click on it and that populates that field. As long as the campaign is running, the full name will appear underneath and it can then be clicked on and selected. If for some reason the campaign you are to log into does not show up, it is probably not running. Talk to your administrator and make sure you are logging into a running campaign. The next item in the agent login is called your phone number. This is the phone number you want our system to call you on. The call where you'll be on hold while our system dials for you. Enter that phone number now. The campaign passcode will be given to you by your administrator. Enter that passcode here. We'll use the word DEMO, D-E-M-O, all in lowercase. Enter your email address. It's important that you enter the ad correct address as the system will send any error reports you generate to us with that email address as a return address. And finally, you can select what type of music you wish to listen to while on hold. We are quite proud of this part of our service and are continually striving to make the musical selections varied and interesting. Now, before we click on the next button to actually log in, let's discuss what is going to happen when we click that button. First, you will see a screen asking for your agent ID. At the same time, you will receive a phone call to the phone number you provided on the previous screen. When you answer, an automated voice will ask you to press the pound sign and then will give you a six-digit numerical login ID. You will enter that into the input box and click Login. At that point, the system will log you in as an agent and immediately begin dialing from your uploaded list of numbers. Now naturally, you don't want to try this with a live set of numbers while training until you're ready to actually run your campaign. This campaign we're using, Call Fire Demo, is designed for you to train yourself and your agents whenever you need to. Okay, let's click on the next button and we'll see this in action. Welcome. Please press pound to continue. Press the pound key. Please visit the website. Your agent ID is five three one seven eight two. Click on login. Now we listen to music while the system dials. I'm Paul Jones. And as you can see on the right hand side of your screen, under the words connected, I work for Acme Incorporated pull in a pretty significant income, and I'm sure with some coaxing I'll be able to donate a little bit more this year than last. I'd like to point out some interesting features of the Call Fire agent interface. On your screen, as soon as I picked up the phone, a helpful script our friendly administrator set up for us came up across the top, and various questions were presented below under Record Your Disposition. You can disposition this call under one of five options, and record if I lean left, right, or center. 
You can also take some notes for future reference. Take a moment to click the History tab across the top of your screen to see what past agents have thought of me. We've also included a handy Google search for my name on the Link 1 tab. This could just as easily be an interface to your local CRM or contact management system. Callfire is very easy to integrate with your business enterprise. Well, I've talked enough. Go ahead and click Next Call to move on to the next contact on your list. Thanks for calling. Thank you for your cooperation. It's important to click on Next Call or the system does know we're available. You've reached the voice mailbox for Beth Mackey. I'm not available to come to the phone right now, but feel free to leave a message after the beep. Before that, however, make sure to click on the Answering Machine Disposition under Record Your Dispositions in the center of your screen. And for the record, I really love donkeys. Your administrator set up a pre-recorded message when creating this campaign, so you don't have to actually leave a message. Go ahead and press the Smart Drop button, then press Next Call. Callfire will leave the message for you and allow you to move on to the next call. Goodbye. Thank you for your cooperation. Remember, press Smart Drop, then Next Call. Hello, I'm Will Smith. As you can see under the word Connected, in the top right-hand corner of your screen, I work for Acme Incorporated with Paul and Beth, who you'll get a chance to meet in a moment if you haven't already. The feature I'd like to point out to you is the transfer option, located directly below the caller information panel. This is very useful if you need to connect your prospect with a supervisor or transfer a lead. Some political campaigns have used this feature to transfer motivated constituents to their representative's office. Nothing impacts the center like a thousand calls from concerned voters. Feel free to transfer me to a friend or simply press next call. Thanks for calling. Thank you for your cooperation. Play around in the call fire demo and listen to the various calls. After you've heard them all, there are only three, notice the button below next call. This is the report an issue button. Here is where you can report any technical issues or quality issues. Clicking on this button opens up a window where you can type in the information about the issue. We strongly encourage you to use this method of reporting any and all issues for several reasons. The issue input screen not only sends us the message you type in, it also sends us the campaign ID, the call you were on at the time of the incident, and other useful information that we can use to troubleshoot and resolve your incident. After you type in the incident information, click on OK to send the incident report to CallFire. Finally, when you need to take a break, or when you are finished with your campaign, either for the day or entirely, click on the Log Off button. It's important to log off when you're taking breaks or otherwise stepping away from your phones and computers. CallFire charges for the entire time you are logged into your campaign, so you don't want to be logged in when you're not actually manning a phone for the campaign. This concludes the Agent Login Video Tutorial. Be sure to view all of our training videos in order to take full advantage of the power of CallFire.